Hey, what's going on everybody? So I'm going to show you how you can screen mirror your Samsung Galaxy S7 or 7 Edge directly to your MS Microsoft wireless display adapter. Okay, so very, very easy to do. Once you have it plugged in to the uh, back of your TV, it doesn't matter if your TV is a smart TV or even a, even a non-smart TV or any monitor as long as it has the HDMI port. So what you basically want to do is... Once you're on the right input and you see this uh, this welcome screen here, you just want to grab your S7, and then you want to log in, and you want to swipe down. Now, for those of you that have um, uh, Android 7.0, what you can do is, uh, hold on one second, let me try to focus in on here. All right, so if you have the uh, Android 7.0, you just want to go ahead and, again, just swipe down and go to your, click on your gear icon, or I'm sorry, uh, you swipe down, and because it's a 7.0 version, there's like two horizontal lines here, you want to drag this down, and then from here, you want to look for Smart View, okay, but to find Smart View, you have to go over to the next page, and here's Smart View here. Now, the thing is, uh, wait for this to connect, if you have, um, it's connecting automatically. If you have um, uh, a prior version of the uh, Android 7, then what you have to do is if you just scroll down like this, and then you will click the other tab uh, up here in the top right-hand corner, and this screen will pop up here, and you have a, a smart view over here somewhere. Okay, so anyways, you can see that I am in business right now. Uh, and one more thing to note, very important, is, you know, I, I, I've seen some other YouTube videos, people are using this product, and they're saying that you need a Wi-Fi network. You do not need a Wi-Fi network for this, guys. If you're using Chromecast, yes, you need a Wi-Fi network in order to connect or do any kind of screen mirroring or even casting. With this uh, Microsoft wireless dis display adapter dongle, you do not need a Wi-Fi network. Why? Because what happens is when you use this, it's a direct connection. It's not a Wi-Fi network connection. It's a Wi-Fi direct connection. Okay, now, of course, if you want to browse the Internet uh, while you're projecting your screen or mirroring onto the TV, if you're watching YouTube or Netflix or anything that requires Internet, then, yeah, you can go ahead and use your wireless uh, network or you can even use mobile data. But you don't have to use Internet. If you don't use Internet, then obviously the only thing that, you know, you're stuck with stuff that you can do without Internet. Like if you want to look at uh, photos and uh, videos and, you know, maybe presentations, anything that's stored on your phone, you'll be able to do. Uh, so let me do this. Let me go ahead and just open up uh, YouTube here. Okay, see right now I don't even have no uh, Wi-Fi here. Let me go ahead and put on my Wi-Fi here and I'll show you. I'll go ahead and play a quick YouTube uh, for you. All right, so I just connected to my uh, Wi-Fi network, and I wanted to show you a difference, too. You can see, like, up here, you can see the, um, uh, there's two, uh, like, Wi-Fi signals. The ones with the arrows going horizontally, that's Wi-Fi direct. And you see the other Wi-Fi with the arrows going up and down, that's your Wi-Fi network. So obviously I have both of them bound. Even if I go to Wi-Fi uh, direct here, you can see that it says I'm connected to my uh, MS Display adapter. So let me just go back here. So I'm connected to both my Wi-Fi and of course my Wi-Fi Direct is connected as well. And I'll just go to YouTube. I'll play a quick video for you here. What's up? This is French Big Mouth and I'm a beat scout. I make music out of every Let me go ahead and uh, skip this ad here. And you can see it. I'm watching it in portrait mode. Was of course, I can. And a home button. You press simultaneously to get it out of there. And the... Turn it over here. And of course, if I raise or increase the volume, the volume actually comes out of my TV. It doesn't come out of my phone. Uh, let me just do this too. I'm also just going to play a Netflix video for you guys, or Netflix show here. So let me just look for Netflix. All right, here's Netflix right here. And I want you to take note, um, I mean, the audio and everything syncs with the TV, okay? Now, there may be like a split-second um, delay, but the audio actually syncs with the TV, doesn't sync with your, t with your phone here. And let me just, just play something. Maybe I can show you demonstration here. I'll just play it. 
first episode here. Give it a second. Okay, there we go. All right, let me go ahead and increase the volume here. Okay, so the syncing is pretty good, and of course, let me decrease the volume here. And of course, you can do the same thing you could before. You can, you know, go in and you can take the subtitles off. Right, let's see here. I can click on none, and I can go back here. And the tub subtitle should turn off. Uh, let me put on pause and do that again. Subtitles none got to click OK and now I'm going to press on play now it's off and let me just read the volume again for you I think you know what that means look Lord don't do this you're going to feel real stupid once all this is cleared up come on okay I can't really see like any lag but sometimes when I uh, use this adapter there'll be a lag uh, on my phone versus my TV like a fraction of a second but the audio will sync with the actual TV instead of the phone. So that's pretty much it. You guys have any questions, uh, just comment below. And if you guys subscribe, like, share, that'd be awesome. Thanks for watching.